The upcoming film Paddington, based on the popular Paddington Bear character, is set to hit AMC theaters on Christmas Day. However, it appears he's going to have a new voice, as it has been confirmed that Oscar-winning actor Colin Firth has dropped out of the film. Firth said the following, After a period of denial, we've chosen conscious uncoupling. <laughs> it's been bittersweet to see this delightful creature take shape and come to the sad realization that he simply doesn't have my voice. I've had the joy of seeing most of the film, and it's going to be quite wonderful. I still feel rather protective of this bear, and I'm pestering them all with suggestions for finding a voice worthy of him. Dennis, by yourself, Firth's departure from the film. I buy just from what he's saying and what the director's saying. It sounds like the split was amicable, and plus, it's you know, it's, he's just voices for animated things, so there's less of like I guess ego involved. Mm -hmm. It's not like my FaceTime or my scenes or anything like that. This other actors you know, messing with my stuff. So I, I buy it. I, I, I didn't know the whole, what is that, the conscious uncoupling. <laughs> conscious I, this uncoupling. is how much I know about celebrity like tabloid. They, I guess that's a reference to Chris Martin and Gwyneth yeah. Paltrow breaking yeah. up. I didn't know they broke up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was Gwyneth Paltrow's press release. Yeah. yeah. Conscious uncoupling. No clue. I, you know, I gotta tell you, I enthusiastically buy this. And the reason I, I really like this story is just because it makes me like Colin Firth even more. A lot of the egos in this town could be like, no, you owe it to me. I've been attached to this movie, I would put in work. You owe it to me to let me finish this, to have my name on that poster, blah, blah, blah. Instead, you got a Hollywood dude, an Academy Award winner, who goes, you know what? My voice is just not what this picture needs. And goes, it's not my voice. The picture would be better served if it's somebody else. How rare is that kind of an attitude? Really because rare. everybody in this town is about, how do I get more for me? And he's like, you know, it sickens me to say it, but my voice isn't Paddington's voice. You need to get somebody else. I love it. I, I just absolutely love it. So for me, it's a buy. Yeah, it's a buy for me too. I, I totally agree with you. I think that's such an amazing thing for him to come out and say that. It's like, hey, it wasn't working and I, I want this movie to be awesome. I love Paddington, even though the picture is incredibly creepy, having that <laughs> close up say, while Chris Lee was reading. I was like, make it stop. Did any of you make see the trailer? Stop. Well, I, I saw the trailer, the trailer for 22 Jump Street, on 22 Jump yeah, Street. Yeah, the trailer had just come out, and I grew up with Paddington, and it is a little bit creepy, but that's the one thing that me and the five people that saw it said was that his voice did not fit wow. at all in the trailer even, so really? I'm really glad they're doing it. Okay, as long as the whole movie isn't comprised of creepy close-ups of that bear staring. That's just that the whole time. Yeah. The Can't whole time. That would be you know amazing. This, picture, this is so wrong, but you know what this picture reminds me of? On the South Park Game of Thrones episodes, there's this one scene where they're going through the mall, and they're looking at like a new inappropriate t a Tickle Me Elmo doll, uh -huh. and you pull the string, and like t Tickle Me Elmo goes, can Elmo watch you potty? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I look at that picture, and that, that's what I think when I look at that picture. Poor Paddington. Uh -huh. Poor Paddington. Uh -huh. Cut uh -huh. back to that close up of the yeah. creepy bear eyes. Oh, leave him alone. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.